What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the year-long story system and how a lot of people in the community since the release of the High Isles have really been discussing how they would like to see this system kind of go away. A lot of people in the community are saying that the system has ran its course. And I've made videos about this in the past, talking about how I think that the year-long adventure system is a bit lacking in ways compared to the older systems. Now, do I think it needs to go back to exactly how it was, of course, like when Thieves Guild and Dark Brotherhood came out? No, but at the same time, those four different small story DLCs coming out through the year, in my opinion, sometimes were more enjoyable because the stories could differ from each other. They did not have to be tied into the same thing. And a lot of people feel like that uh, in the community have been talking about how it's felt, they feel like Zoss's hands are kind of tied with this long story DLC, considering, uh, you know, they're having to tell the same story from the start of the year to the end of the year, where in the past, if you look at things like Merc Meyer, which is one people always mention, one of these smaller DLCs they really enjoyed, they really liked how the story was told in that. I really liked how the stories were told in some of the older DLCs, where you get those small, several small DLCs a year. And, you know, the story could maybe tie in a little bit in some ways, but at the same time, it was a completely different story. So it felt like you got to go, you know, have something new to do all the time instead of going to one big zone a year and then you know a smaller one kind of at the end of the year you know when we always get the small dlc at the end of the year with the year-long quest you have to go to several different places throughout the year uh you know they might not have been as big an area as big a zones but i think people in the community now that the high aisles have been announced are starting to kind of want that again and i think the main reason is this year we're not really getting any new uh classes we haven't had a new class in a while i didn't think we were going to get one i talked about that before we're not really getting any combat system changes when it comes to to you know new weapon lines uh, you know rework of the old weapon lines and i talked about yesterday kind of what we're getting we're getting a lot of combat changes but it's mainly making uh hybrid builds viable for pretty much any class and if you have not seen that video i'd highly recommend checking that out but i think overall a lot of people in the community especially if you played for a while now newer players may not feel this way but people that have played for a while that have seen these you know, big DLC kind of system quest uh, where it lasts all year, kind of go on uh, for the last several years. I think they're kind of wanting some of that older DLC back. Now, in my opinion, a lot of it has to do, I think, with the money side of the game. Uh, when it was smaller DLCs, a lot of that came with ESO Plus. So they weren't making money off those DLCs unless you purchased them. Uh, so I, I think that could be a big reason why Zoss has kind of gone with this year long idea. You're getting everything else with ESO plus besides that big, you know, expansion. You're having to pay for that every year, unless you're going to wait until the next year when it goes into ESO plus the new stuff comes out and, you know, then you can play it. But most people are not going to do that. Most people are going to buy the new DLC and don't get me wrong. The high aisles looks like it's going to be an absolutely amazing looking area. I'm, I'm talking like Somerset good. I think that's how good it's going to look. And speaking of Somerset, I think Somerset was the best year-long adventure they have done, in my opinion. But what would you guys like to see? Do you like the year-long adventure you know, plan going forward? Do you want to see this to continue? Or would you like to go back to the older system where we're getting smaller DLCs throughout the year that may, may or may not necessarily tie into each other? You know, it might be smaller areas, smaller zones. Uh, a lot of people say that the, there were a lot more quest lines within the smaller zones. And that is true. I, I think the big storyline... Uh, zone quest or longer but there's not as many of them so i'm kind of curious what you guys would like to see i'm not quite sure exactly how they could do this going forward unless they decided to make you pay for each individual uh small dlc which would get kind of expensive because that would probably be close to 20 bucks a piece and you're looking at four of those in a year you're going to be paying a lot more you're going to be paying 80 dollars for all four dlcs compared to paying you know 40 49 dollars here in the u.s for you know one big dlc and then buying your eso plus over the year I still think they could get away with making plenty of money with ESO Plus because tons of players have it. But at the same time, a lot of players have talked about kind of getting away from ESO Plus. They don't feel like it is as needed as it once was, unless you're a crafter. That's why most people use that for the crafting bag. So leave me a comment with your thoughts. Do you want them to stay on this year-long story arc? Uh, do you like to see more of this in the future? Or would you like to see more of a smaller DLC uh, kind of idea going forward? Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.